Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Nurture with Art and Nature. Today I would like to share with you some of the materials that I've purchased for my first grader and preschoolers this year. This is in addition to the other haul that I made a couple of months ago. So yeah, let's get started. So, first thing I'd like to start with is these, are these tambourines. So, I got three. These are from Kmart. I believe. I bought them actually a couple of months ago. These are from Kmart. I got three different designs because I do have, oh, let me get them in the frame. So I have my first grader and two preschoolers. And um, yeah, so these are the items that I got for them. In traditional Islam, we don't believe in musical instruments. Um, the only thing that is allowed is the deaf. So it's a type of kind of, I guess it's similar to a tambourine. But um, the tambourine does have these things that make it a tambourine. So just the drum basically is what we're going to be using. I will try and snap these off, probably cut them off with a metal cutter of some sort. Um, and yeah, so I got these for my kids and so they are excited to use them. So that will be for a musical aspect of the curriculum. Other items that I got for my children are these little sponge brushes and of course I had to get three because they will fight over all the sizes if I didn't get them their own individual packs. And this is from um, Riot Art, yes Riot Art online, they were having like everything half price or something sale and so I believe these were like $1.50 each or something like that. So yeah they're really cute. So I did end up purchasing some real wool because I had some acrylic wool from my pre Waldorf days and um, I was reluctant to buy some new wool because I do believe it's slightly more expensive and also I had such a large quantity of acrylics that I thought maybe I should use them but I ended up deciding to sell my acrylic collection and um, start building a wool collection and I'm so glad I did this gorgeous look how thick this is it's so beautiful this is a I think it's how many plies is this 12 ply yeah I'm not really sure it's not really saying it there I think it's a 12 ply so I got some different yarns and I'm I have some more um, coming in the mail uh, yeah and these are different plies 5 ply 8 ply and I believe 12 ply and so these are for the projects for the year one knitting projects. And to go along with that, I bought online some of these. So this is from eBay. This is different size crochet hooks. I'm actually not sure if you start crocheting in crocheting, or crocheting, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, in year one. But these are for me nevertheless. So if my son wants to, my year first grader wants to go ahead and use them as well he can go ahead so these are all these different sizes and these were nine dollars or ten dollars yeah for all of these and it was on ebay and um i remember having one one hook already myself so this is the one i had originally and yeah so it's nice to have all these different sizes i believe these are probably the same size these two and I do also have this one pair of bamboo knitting needles and I plan on making my own knitting needles with some, the dowels I showed you last time in one of my haul videos. So I have different size dowels to make my own knitting needles and so well, at least I have a pair to start with so these will be for my son to start his first project. I also decided to purchase this cute little crocheting pack, crochet pack, crocheting, I never know how to say this. Um, yeah, so they have these cute little adorable characters and figurines. I know that um, in the first grade, I think they do the, the Waldorf bunny, but anyway, I thought these would be cute, and if not for this year, for later on. And they could also, I could also try attempt to start crocheting and making my younger kids, some toys, and my first grader. I actually haven't opened it yet, so let me just see what there is. I'm sure it comes with yarn, but obviously it wouldn't be, I don't think it would be made out of cotton. Probably be, a, or a wool, it would be, I'm sure, some kind of blend or, 
artificial. Yeah, so the main reason I bought it was anyway for the patterns in here because they're so adorable. I can't wait to make that little bee. Oh, my daughter will love these so much. My youngest daughter. Well, any of my kids really. Even my eldest, my teenage daughter would probably love these too. How cute. They are so adorable. Oh, it comes with the chicken too. I didn't show that. I thought it was only four patterns. That's awesome. So yeah, so there's that. And this was, yeah, I bought this from Kmart. And it was, I think, $10. Pretty sure it was $10. Oh, so oh, so you still oh yeah, so you obviously you would still stuff it. So it comes with some some stuffing, but I really doubt that this is wool, of course. So it's gonna be some kind of polyfill or something. Speaking of stuffing, I did actually buy a huge bag of pure wool stuffing or roving. No, this is not roving. Yeah, this is like a stuffing material. So I do have some stuffing anyway, uh, and this big bag of wool stuffing. I got it on eBay. Someone was just selling it. I still actually have some little twigs and things in there. Um, I believe I got it $15 with shipping and this is like, I think 900 grams it was. I also, um, Spotlight was having a sale and there are a few items that I bought from there. Um, I became a v VIP member to, to get some discounts and they were having, it was spend $100 and get $40 back so basically everything is 40% off if, if you spend over $100 kind of thing. So this calico pure cotton fabric so it's 90 by 90 and I thought this would be good to use as embroidery you know fabric and um, yeah I never I didn't have any pure cotton fabric so that for embroidery or you know doll making or something since last time in my other haul I, I bought those cute little I believe there was 10 centimeter diameter or maybe less um, embroidery hoops. So yeah, so this would be nice to do that. Oh yeah, and this was like $6 or something. Probably less with the discount at the end, but yeah. And I also bought online from a fabric seller this uh, cotton cheesecloth fabric. So it's pure cotton cheesecloth. Of course, it's not naturally dyed. I think that will be the next step. For me to buy some um, natural cotton and, and dye it with plant based plant plant based dyes myself, but I bought these three colors because my first grader loves red and my daughter who's four loves pink and my five year old loves yellow, and these are um, a meter by a meter twenty probably, and I wanted to make little capes for them instead of. You know, because wool, um, silk, silk is quite expensive, so I thought of making it with this beautiful, lightweight cheesecloth fabric. So at least it's natural fibers; it's just not natural dye. So that's fine. And they, they've already, you know, tied it around their necks and used it for capes. That's why it's in the state. But I really want to, you know, add ribbons and make it look really cute. And they were seven dollars each with shipping, or it was free shipping or something like that. But they were seven each. Also last time, oops, I dropped my stuff. Last time I had some um, artificial felt sheets and same thing, I, I felt a sh like shame to not use them. But then I decided against not using them because I watched, um, I believe it was Hannah from Pepper and Pine who said, you know, if you're gonna go through the trouble of making things, might as well make it with the best material possible. So then that's why I decided against using the felt and the acrylic, the, the acrylic felts and the acrylic wools that I had already, even though I had beautiful colors and a nice, ver you know, variety of them. Um, so I decided to try different things. Because so this is a this is from Spotlight as well. These ones are from Spotlight. They are, I believe, 20 or 30 percent wool and the rest viscose. So these are, you know, still natural. And these are the colors I could get that I found were, you know, not the artificial felts that they had. Anyone that had a sticker that said it was viscose and wool because they had a huge range and some of them didn't have stickers and I wasn't sure. So I got these colors and yes, and they're nice and thick. And I like to compare them to, so I, so these were 170 each without the sale. So like I said, because I spent $100, I got, you know, the 40% off. So I'm not sure how that, how much that ends up being, but yeah, if you just look online now, they're about $1.75 $1 each sheet. 
and they're A4 size. So there's these felts that I bought, and then I have these that I bought from, um, what's her name? I think it's Bumblebee Designs. Yeah, so I bought a few different things from her. Some, what did I buy? Oh yeah, so I just bought felt from her. This one and another here that I still haven't opened yet. Um, and yeah, she's so affordable and she does have natural felts and um, naturally dyed felts as well. So I'm really happy with her stuff and this, she's so affordable. So these are, how many yet? Yeah, 10 sheets. These are, these are pure rayon ones. So these are 10 rayon or viscose as they say in America. I think they say viscose. But here in Australia we say rayon. So rayon, viscose, um, felt sheets. And I didn't really look at them properly, but they're, they came with this cute little, and, and she's super fast with shipping. Like you order it and basically the day, the day of or the day after you get the, the shipment. I was so happy with that. And yeah, so this is way, as you can see, way thinner than the, even the 80% viscose wool. So much thinner. I kind of like it. I like that they're thin in a way, but I don't know how they will hold up. I don't know how long lasting they are. I'm trying to pull it, but I'm kind of scared. They feel like they might tear in a way, but I really don't think they're that easy to tear. But yeah, they're definitely thinner. But I love these colors. Look at this beautiful color here. We've got some nice autumn colors because they're just so gorgeous. Even though here in Australia we're in spring, but yeah, these beautiful oranges and green and yellows. Okay, so that's that. So yeah, these 10 sheets for 1850 it was with um, yeah, I think that's including shipping. I think it is. So yeah, 18, 1850 including shipping. That's pretty good too. And so these, this is her spring felt collection. And these are pure wool, 100% wool. So I'm actually excited to see how it feels because, oh my goodness, it's kind of open. I have not felt, what's that? I have felt, what am I talking about? I'm just excited to see the colors. Um, yeah, so these are six sheets for 30. Yeah, so there's the, the receipt, yeah, including shipping. So $30 for six sheets, including shipping. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, and she has a cute little, there's her, there's her, her card and her website and her number. Yeah, I'm happy with her stuff. Ooh, these are actually, I think these are bigger than A4, aren't they? Well, they're definitely wider. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I really like this cute little cherry pink one. That's so nice. Let's see that one. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, the greens are so nice. They're perfect. Wow. Yeah. When I compare these to my acrylics, I, I understand the difference in quality now. Definitely worth it. Oh, they're so nice. Really nice. Look at that. So there's my felt. Like, oh yeah, one more felt. Um, thing I want to show you is this beautiful felt mat. So it's um, not not mat. I mean, it's a long fabric. It's like someone was selling it on this Waldorf group I'm on in Facebook and she makes felt toys and things like that so this is really this is nice and thick look how thick that is really thick I mean she has told me the, the millimeter thickness of it but I would say half a mil I mean a uh, half a centimeter no half a centimeter I don't know two 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 and a half mils thick and it's just I was planning on making a um, how do they say it? those felt landscapes you know, the needle felting, try my hand at needle felting and make a nice needle, felt needle felted landscape for my kids to play with. So I think this is 80 centimeters by, um, you know, 50 centimeters or something like that. And I got that for $15. I also bought this uh, wood carving tool for my son for my eight year old. I'm not sure when they start wood cutting. I think it's when they're 10 years old, maybe. Uh, but I saw it on sale on eBay and I just had to get it. So I haven't even opened it yet. Look at that. So it comes with this beautiful case, as you can see, and these like wooden knives. 
That's nice as a protective thing. I love the handles. I love the nice thick grips. And I think these are to make the spoons. Yeah. It's like a hook design to make the spoon to carve out the spoon. And this is to sharpen it, I believe. And yeah, so that was. Hmm. I will have to confirm back, but I think it was definitely around $30 on eBay. Oh, there's something else in here. What is that? Oh yeah, so I think I don't really know how to use this, but from what I've seen, I think you draw this on to this and then when you sharpen it, it does something. Sorry, I don't really know how to use these things. Another thing that I bought, um, because I do have these Stockmar paints, as I showed you last time, the three primary colors, and you dilute them down in water, and they were $20 each, I think it was. No, no, not 20 each. They were 12 each, yeah, for the 20 mil. And so on Riot, when, when I was on the Riot Art website, they had a, like I said, a half price sale. And they had these watercolored inks and they are non-toxic as well. So I thought they were like $3 each and they're 20 mils each. So I, I decided to get all these ink colors. Yeah, so they're non-toxic, so it'll be nice for some nice watercolor projects. So that's that. Another thing that I got is this um, German opaque paint box. Watercolored paint. So this is Pelican. So I did have, in my other video, I bought their, um, their chalk uh, pastels, I think. Yeah, chalk pastels. Or their, their black chalkboard chalks. And um, so this is their paint, their watercolor paint. And this is this, so it's made in Germany and I'm 100% sure that this is the same, you know, factory that makes the Stockmar watercolor paints. But this is obviously much cheaper. This was $20 on eBay, someone was selling it. And the gentleman that I bought it from um, definitely sent it really fast as well. So I was really happy with that. And I, yeah, I still haven't actually opened it to see. How do you open this thing? And yeah, so it looks exactly like, from what I've seen in the pictures, exactly like the Stockmar watercolors. And like I said, it's made in Germany, so I would not be surprised that it's the same company. And so yeah, we have these as well to add to our paints. And um, I also decided to buy some oil pastels for my... Um, younger kids to play with, to, to draw with, and uh, this was only, it's non-toxic and it's washable, and it is, um, it was five dollars only, and I bought this from a couple that, ha uh, that are starting a educational resource business on eBay, and yeah, I'm so happy with their stuff, they live 15 minutes away from me, so instead of sh getting things shipped out, um, I just went and collected them, and that's how I met them. And so I bought this from them and a few other items, a map and, you know, some other things. But what I'll show you that I did get from them is this huge A3 pad of, you know, drawing paper. And this is 80 grams. And there's 48 papers. And this as well was only $5. And so, yeah, they're really, they have really cheap really cheap things and really great quality so these are the things that I bought from them and I will list I think they're called A to Z educational resources something like that I will put their name on the screen there or down below in the description last time as well I did not have sponges to use for my um, kids watercolor paints so this is some natural I think it is yeah non-toxic natural material sponges that I bought from Riot Art or something, and this was like eight ninety five. dollars a pack of three. And last time as well, I had shown you that I had bought these books from, yeah, what is it, Ronnie's, the same place I bought these and the other things. And yeah, I was so happy with their books. They are 31 centimeters by 31, they're squares, and they are, yeah, $2.95 each. And so I went back, last time I only bought, I think, four, 
And this time I bought a whole bunch of them. So I think this I might. What was it like? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And my daughter has one, so that's ten. So yeah. One. I bought enough for the next couple of years. And I also bought online on eBay this A3 watercolor paper pad. And this is the 300 grams. So this is really thick and perfect for watercolor paints. And they do recommend for the younger years to use A3 size. So there's only 15 sheets, but you know, we'll do good with that. And I also bought this from Kmart. This is 120 pages and it's 120 thickness and it's acid free and so there's a lot here as well for the because this one is more expensive and there's only 15 sheets so this is more for the everyday projects and this is for the the really special projects i would say since it's expensive. this was so 120 pages for eight dollars it was and this one i do not remember but i will put the price up it was the cheapest I could find for A3 and that thickness. A few things. Oh, no. So this is also from Riot Art. I oh, no. said they were having a sale. No. And I bought some air drying clay. This is one. Is this half a kilo? This is a kilo. I think this is 500 grams. I can't even see. I don't know where it says it. But I bought two of these. One that already my children have used for a project. And yeah, so... Um, I think they were $9. Yeah, so... Either they were half price from that. Yeah, I bought two. So uh, it was a kilo. This is half a kilo. So a kilo for $10. So that was really very cheap. Aww. And last time I did not receive my peg dolls. I had the, um, the actual wooden clothes hanger peg dolls. But these are actual wood turned peg dolls. So I have a whole... Oh, here's your toy, babe. I have a whole collection here this time. Um, so this one was bought, this is like a family with all different sized ones. And um, there's 10 of each size and 10 of each gender or something. So yeah, um, no, five of each, uh, like five male, five female of every size. Yeah, so it ends up being a 50 pack. And this was $20 on eBay. And from Spotlight, I had seen these. I had these peg dolls. I didn't even know they sold peg. They sold peg dolls. So I was so happy to find those when I went in store. And this is the biggest I've found so far. And this is a 10, 10 centimeter peg doll. And they are normally I think 350 each, but like I said, the sale ended up being 40% off. And yeah. These are cute little ones as well, you know, there are some cute small ones in here, this is always good to have extra. And these are some acorns, there are 10 acorns here, some beautiful wooden acorns that I bought online ages ago that I still haven't used, so these will be cute for manipulatives and playing and little toys. And these are from a, um, a seller um, that I found online, and they are 9 centimeters. So they're quite big, and I bought t uh, five male, five females, and they are t so they're two dollars each. Yeah. I also saw on Facebook Marketplace someone was selling this um, this pack of finger finger um, peg dolls. So the one that you actually put your finger in, you can see that there's they have a hole at the bottom of them, and they're beautiful and nice, cute, large family. And they come with paints and yeah, and I think it's from Aldi's because I think I saw somewhere that it was from Aldi. Yeah, so here's the Aldi craft brand, creative place. I have some other packs of theirs. So yeah, I'm a big fan of Aldi stuff. And um, yeah, so this, she was selling it for $5. So I'm not sure how, probably at Aldi's would have, wouldn't have been more than $9. I have, I just put them in this, you know, cotton bag, frosting bag. I bought also some aprons. So these are from Spotlight. Um, and they were the last three that they had. So these are kid aprons out of the Calico fabric. And I'm planning on, you know, either embroidering them or, you know, painting them with like their names and making, 
you know, individualizing them for my children. Um, I'm planning on making uh, cooking packs for my kids. Last time in the videos you saw that I got, you know, them, them individual spoons, like wooden spoons and things like that. So I'm just trying to add on to that collection. So these were six each, but with a discount. So they ended up being four for each, I guess. And so I got also these whisks, not from Spotlight. I actually do not remember where I bought these from. Um, some store in the mall. You know, one of those stores that just have you know, everything, basically. Um, these were from the reject shop. They are actually bamboo lids for um, plastic containers. But I told them I actually didn't want the containers. I just wanted the lids. And so I ended up um, getting them they're three dollars each so i thought they would be so cute as chopping boards so three chopping boards here um and yeah and these are 250 each these whisks for 250 each and i don't remember if i had this in the other video but this is a bamboo um brush either for you know dishes or brushing potatoes or fruits and things like that so i thought that would be cute it's five dollars and Last time I showed you the um, rolling pins I got for them, the bamboo rolling pins, which were two dollars or two and a half dollars each. So I have three of them. That's the third one. Yeah, so I have three of them as well for my cooking packs. And these were the beautiful spoons that I had gotten for them from Pots and Pans. They are so so smooth. I love these spoons. So three of those. So those three there and then I only have two of these cute wooden ladles uh, I couldn't get three but that's fine and these were for free they there was someone giving away a whole bunch of um, cooking things kitchen things yeah and these two so these have wooden handles but they're also metal and they're only two of these and so yeah that'd be cute too I wish I had three of each but that's fine and yeah last time I showed you this beautiful lemon juicer wooden lemon juicer and also last time in the other video I had this cute little bamboo tapas tray thing cocktail stick tray it would be cute for snack time so I haven't used that yet and so yeah um did I say the price is everything yeah I did and so that's pretty much everything I have new um, for my first grader. Um, stay tuned for other videos and other hauls. Other than that, you know, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below.